Hello children. Today in this video we are going to learn to read and write four digit and five digit number. Up to now we are familiar with three digit number. So let's revise it. The smallest one digit number is one and the biggest one digit number is nine. The smallest two digit number is ten and the biggest two digit number is ninety nine. The smallest Three digit number is 100 and the biggest three digit number is 999. So we are familiar with unit place, tens place and hundred place. And we also know to read and write three digit number. Now let's see how we get four digit number. Now we know that 999 is the biggest three digit number. Let's add 1 to it. Let's see what is the answer. The answer is 10 hundred and 10 hundred is equal to 1000. To write this number we make a new thousand place for it on the left of the hundred place and we call it the th place. That is thousand place. It means the next number after 999 is 1000. And 1000 is the smallest four digit number. Thus, the smallest four digit number is 1000 and the biggest four digit number is 9999. Similarly, if we add 1 to the greatest 4 digit number, we will get next number that is 10,000, the smallest 5 digit number. Thus, the smallest 5 digit number is 10,000 and the biggest 5 digit number is 99,999. Now let's see how to read numbers. Just as we read 10 and unit place together, we read 10,000 and thousands together. So we read 95136 as 95,136. Similarly, we read 40308 as 40,308. Now let's see how to write numbers in figures. When writing numbers in figure, Write the digit in the highest place first and then in each of the next smaller places. Write 0 if there is no digit in that place. Let's see first example. 51,428. Here there are 51,000. So write 5 in 10,000 place and 1 in 1,000 place. As there are 400, write 4 in 100 place and 28 means 2 tens and 8 unit. So write 2 in tens place and 8 in unit place. Now let's take second example. 30,540. As there are 30,000 write 3 in 10,000 place and there are no thousand, so write zero in thousand place. As there are five hundred, write five in hundred place and forty is equal to four tens and zero unit. So in the tens and unit place, we write four and zero respectively. Now let's take third example. Nineteen thousand and sixty two. As there are nineteen thousand, write 1 in 10,000 place and 9 in 1,000 place. There are no 100, so write 0 in 100 place. 62 is equal to 6 tens and 2 unit. So write 6 in 10 place and 2 in unit place. To make reading and writing of numbers easy, it is good to put commas between the digits. So, for this, we should make two groups. First is of 100, tens and unit and second is of 10,000 and 1,000 place. 
then put comma after thousand place now let's see this example 23840 here i have put comma after thousand place similarly in second example 60195 i have put comma after thousand place that is after zero i have put comma now let's see how to write numbers in figures by putting commas seven thousand four hundred and twenty eight after seven put comma then write four hundred and twenty eight second example thirty thousand five hundred and forty after thirty thousand put comma and then write five hundred and forty now third example ninety one thousand and sixty two here after 91000 put comma as there are no hundreds so write zero in hundred place and then write 62 there are some points to remember when writing numbers in figure write the digits in the highest place first and then in each of the next smaller places write zero if there is no digit in that place Thank you.